So it's perfectly fine. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, bro. Yo, we back in here for another episode. <clears throat> another banger, $20 million podcast, number one podcast on the ISERV. And today we have another banger. We have the one and only, the first one I'm talking to, C3 Chillin', aka Chillin' Chillin'. People be calling you chilling, chilling twice. Nah, they just say chilling. Chilling. They don't try. They don't. They don't be doing that much. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. Sometimes I want to change my name just to simplify it because mm-hmm. chilling, chilling is a little bit just eh, a little bit too much sometimes. But chilling is fine. I I go by chilling. Okay. Okay. But, I, okay. What you say? Nah, I was about to say I only got that name because my man's in the block, some amigos. Because I used to really be posted up on my block, Suray Drive. Shout out Suray Drive. Suray Drive. But I, is that where C three comes from? Yeah, yeah. In a way, yeah. It's C three is more of a collab. It's not really like how can I say the people I was on my block with. They ain't really making music. You feel me? Okay. But the people I grew up with in school and shit, like high school. Now that's when it's different a little okay. bit. Now they making music, but, okay. but I got I got chilling chilling because some random amigo he was like in Spanish he was like, hey homie qué pedo homie qué hace? I'm like chilling chilling homie fumando homie tu sabes. And ever since that day, the nigga called me chilling chilling. Everybody on my block called me chilling chilling, bro. Wow. To this day, bro, I be just walking down to the gas station. Some some nigga in the car passed by. Hey yo, chilling. I'm like, yo, oh God, yo, you just screwed my name, bro. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, before we get too far in this interview, I'm not even going to lie and make it seem like I know a lick of Spanish, so I'm not even going to lie. I don't know anything. So, so, about. so, like, when my homie used to come up to me, like, get bad, nah, nah, that's basically like, yo, what it is, yo, what you doing, yo? Yeah. And I'd be like, man, just chilling, chilling, bro, just oh, cooling. Oh, okay. So I'm basically saying cooling, but, like, for them, it's more like chilling, chilling, because, because okay. they Spanish is more a little, a little weird, it's broken, more street, it's not okay. really formal. More street shit, like it's not really like hola, como ta, da, da, da. It's more yeah, like, it's never like, like hey, yo, que you know how they, how we over here in Baltimore, we're like yo, what it is, dame yo, yeah, yeah. dumb man, all that type of shit. It's more like it's more like that in a way. I don't know why it's cool they told us that come on style shit. I ain't never heard that shit. With no I mean, people. formally, yeah, bro. Like if you meet somebody like out of respect, somebody older than you, okay, I I I, I would recommend be like, oh, hola, como estas, mucho gusto. That means like. Nice to meet you yeah, yeah, and I mean. stuff like that. Other than that, if you just meet somebody, your age, somebody, you're like, about it, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Just be on some shit, bro. Um, how, you, how you doing today? Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday afternoon. How you doing? Man, I'm blessed. You feel me? Every day I'm blessed. Thank God I got to see my son. Pick, picked him up from school, dropped him off, da da da. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? He, he there with his mom now, so I'm here, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Enjoying it. You know, just enjoying it, but I, 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 I love enjoying life every day, knowing that I wake up every day, thank God, bro. Like, that's how I think about it. I got to thank God every day, bro, because, but we from Baltimore, bro. We, it ain't shit, it ain't it, shit here. Doesn't even, like, doesn't even matter what part from Baltimore. It's always some shit going down, bro. Mm-hmm. County or city. Some For shit real. going down, bro, which is some, it's some crazy shit, but it's sad, but it's the truth, though. It is. So that's why I'm just blessed, bro. How you feeling though? You cooling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's just it's hot as hell in here as always. I'm just now I'm never gonna I've been recording here at this place for a while and I'm just never getting used to this heat. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I need like a fat ass fan right here. Some some big ass fan, just yeah, some that's some what, shit. Yeah, that's why you should like, subscribe, everything yeah, on here. Yeah, so it was support to get me a yeah, fan. Yeah, get a fan, then yeah. be straight. But you go, he about get it, he about get it. Uh let's talk about I wanna talk about yeah, I was just why I my favorite my I want to tell you my favorite music video that I was watching out of yours is the cartel. No car, uh, cartelles. That's how you say it. Yeah, cartel. cartel. It is, but but cartel. That's that's cartel in Spanish. So it's the okay. same shit. It's the okay. same shit. It's the same shit. My man is uh Fortune. For it's like two people, Jeff and mm-hmm. uh my nigga um, my Jeff and uh damn bro my dumbass bro. Exactly. Ben, Jeff and Ben, my fault. Jeff and Ben, I'm, I'm, bro. It's crazy because I'm, I'm so used to just talking to them. Like when I first met them, I didn't know who I was talking to. That's why it confused <laughs> me. Till when I started getting to know them a lot, that's when I definitely, you know, made a different like who is who. You know okay. what I'm saying? So Jeff and Ben from Fortune videos, visuals. I mean, they went crazy, bro. On, mm-hmm. on those videos, that mm-hmm. that one was my first video I ever shot from them. For him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you. I mean, y'all, you got a lot by him now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We shot like a couple. We, uh, of course, they, they, they doing other ventures right now. So okay. I'm letting them do their thing. This, but this, this before, yeah, this, this one before they started doing their thing right now. Cause right now they doing a lot of like. 
like shows and stuff. Oh, yeah, they be doing shows and stuff. Big shit, bro. Like mo- movies, like like news shit, bro. Like they be busy now, so they they really don't be on the on Cameron the, be busy. Yeah, on the on the video t- tips no more. But other than that, bro, when when I met them, bro, it's all love. It's still love to this day, bro. Bro, they fam, bro. They That's kill on the videos, all that. I met him. I'm, uh, I met him through some other guy named Bully Danny. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's another Spanish rapper. He's from here too. Mm-hmm. He more of a battle rapper though. Like, battle uh, yeah, he, he kill. He he kills on the music shit too. I'm not, mm-hmm. but he he really into that battle rap. But he introduced me to uh, to Fortune Visuals and stuff. That's when the shit got rocking. I ain't gonna lie. From that point, I was tr- tr- dropping videos was, out the yeah, ass, bro. Videos. I was like. I was, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, I don't know, we 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 gonna get we gonna get to your background. This I just gotta get this one yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Um, what for people? You have a lot of music videos. What what for up and coming artists and for people like what what are some tips for like to have a cool music video? Uh, man, I would say just your first couple videos is cool to run and gun. You know what I'm saying? Bring a block out. You feel me? Bring everybody in that bitch. You know, bring your homies out. But then after a while, you have to like get in tune with it. Make sure you have that chemistry with your cameraman. Let them know what you want in that video. You know what I'm saying? Don't put that, don't put that. You know what I'm saying? And just vibe, you feel me? Make sure everything just come out crispy. And just uh, plan that shit, bro. Like, it's cool to do run gun videos mm-hmm. once in a while. It's fun. But once you keep doing that, it's like, man, you got to drop once in a while video. Where, like, this is a little storyline, a little yeah, type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Which, that's what I'm working on. I still don't got a video like that. So that's yeah. something that... I'm telling everybody else to do that I'm trying to do right now. This yeah, point, you feel me? You gotta give the game. Yeah, like yeah. Some people wouldn't give that game. Yeah, yeah. For that yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to do that. But other than that, bro, just stack your bread up. Invest in this music shit, cause this shit, bro. This shit is more. It's in. It's an investment. It's an investment. You know what I'm you gotta. It's like it's anything. Podcast and music, gaming, whatever. You gotta invest in yourself to get to this shit. Mm-hmm. That's why shit. Just save up. Invest in yourself. Don't be spending your shit on bullshit and just be like, damn. I don't got money to do this, but you know you did. You know what I'm saying? You, you got like, like if you're going to still be buying shit, because everybody smoke, everybody drink. Like, I'm drinking right now. I can't even but say I'm a cent. But we should be sponsored. Yeah, oh God, I should. But I'm just saying, just balance shit out. Like, like here, this money for this, this money for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just, just balance it out, bro, because. You got to make sacrifices, too. Yeah, you got to like, it'd be days where I don't drink. Okay. It'd be days where I don't smoke. You know what I'm saying? Real, real niggas, real yeah. niggas would admit that. Yeah, it be days where I'm like, fuck. But still, like, it be days where I put money in my music shit and I'm broke. And I don't got no money. Mm-hmm. I don't got shit to to that. You know what I'm saying? I put my, I, I mostly put my money in my music shit. And of course, I got a son, so I put everything on my son. So other than that, that's that's where my money go to, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I start this money up, boom, music, music videos, promo, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I I just be focused on this shit, bro. Like I, I, I don't. I'm not even gonna lie. I That's feel dedication. like yeah. I feel like I feel like I've been doing this so long. I don't even feel it no more. It's like it's, it's like it's natural. It's natural to get up and grind and mm-hmm. do this promo, do this video, mm-hmm. get this out. Yeah, it's natural. It, it, it's just natural because some people think just you gonna make a song, right? Uh-huh. Make a song, make a video, and then it's over with. You are gonna make a million views. <laughs> Never like that. <laughs> you might get lucky. But you that's 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 so that's a small fraction, bro. That's 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 so small, bro. If yeah. it does happen, you were the luckiest motherfucker in the world. No, if it really. did happen, bro. To the people that did happen to, it's yeah, yeah, they lucky, bro. Now they not now we all got tools to actually make. So you got TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Mostly TikTok now. TikTok. That's the only thing. And and, and, and Instagram. That's pretty much shit where you can really make shit popular. And Facebook. Bro. Facebook too. Facebook is people hard. be forgetting about Facebook. Though. I forgot about Facebook. Yo. I was I looked at my Facebook for the channel over there. I'm like, what what is this? Yeah, you have some people following you, liking you. I'm like, yo, who? Yo, I wasn't even paying attention. This motherfucker. Oh, some shit. I'm like, oh, damn. Wow. So for me, for a lot of people watching this, and for me personally. That you are the first Mexican Baltimore rapper that raps. I'm gonna and, have to, co- I'm gonna have to co- correct you. I, I ain't Mexican. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry. No, what no, you can, you can, you can, you can try. Correct me. What should but, I say? But, but uh, my family from Guatemala uh-huh. and El Salvador. Okay. Feel me? That's that's countries down below Mexico. That's Central America. Oh wow! You know what I'm saying? This is a different culture right there. Central America is so different, bro, compared to Mexico. Honestly, if you think about it. Uh, me growing up, it was always that little animosity with Mexicans and the Salvadorans. Really? Like, like Salvador, all the Central America, like Salvadorian, Honduran, Honduran's, Guatemalans, they would have beef with Mexicans. Not because they wanted to, it's because most Mexicans, when, when I was little, 
would think they better than us because oh we oh. Mexicans. You know what, what I'm saying? The hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's back then. I don't know about now, but now, you know, I got hella Mexican homies, bro. I got hella friends from different countries. You know, it's, it's not the that. same. But me growing up, man, it was like that, bro. You it grew was, up. You grew up there. Oh uh, yeah. I, no, I ain't grew up with. Uh, see, look, we get get right there. Where I was born, I was born here. Okay. I was born in LA though. I was born in Los Angeles. What? How you get over here? See, look, we get <laughs> so so. Let me let me backtrack because we just skipped some. We just ha- skipped some couple rides. Ha- hella shit. So my mom, my mom, she uh she crossed the border from Guatemala, pregnant with me. Okay. She crossed the border, everything. She was pregnant with me. Once she landed to here in America, she landed at LA. Boom. She was here probably like she was like seven months pregnant. Mm-hmm. Stayed there, boom. I got I was born there. She stayed there for one year. After that, she moved with my uncle to Maryland, like here in Maryland, but she moved in PG County. Okay. So I lived in PG County for like a little bit in this place called Langley Park, close to Heightsville. It's like close to DC. Okay. But it's in PG County. Do you know do you know any reasons particularly why he went from LA to uh, Maryland? I, I would think more if it's cheaper. Cause LA is bro, it's a big ass city. So anything that's big is like more going it's be more expensive. So I'm pretty sure that's probably what it was. Mm-hmm. I don't really know still to this day, but I would mm-hmm. assume that would be the reason why. Mm-hmm. But they came from LA to that place, Langley Park, boom, lived there from what? Three to four, I lived there one year. So I went stayed in LA one, one, like I was born there, one, two, three, boom, moved to Lanny Park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, stayed there for like a good year. Then I came here in Baltimore. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I am, I will always stay in the same area though. How old was you when you came to Baltimore? I was like four, mm. four or five, bro. I really, so you don't really remember. You I don't remember you shit. Grew, you grew up in Baltimore. I grew up, bro. My yeah. first memory was in Baltimore, bro. Yeah, you grew up in Baltimore. I ain't gonna lie, when I, I think when I was four, but that's my first memory ever, bro. My dumb ass, bro. I was four. This lady was taking care of me. She was uh, chopping up some soup. You know, she was chopping carrots, vegetables, all type of shit to make a soup. Uh, she wasn't paying attention while she was letting that shit uh, boil, the water boil. Mm-hmm. I put the fucking oven down and I started jumping on the oven. That shit, what? that shit fell all over my back, bro. That's my first memory ever in my Burning life. Burning yourself? Yeah. I would remember that shit bro, too. Bro, I, I remember the pain and everything. The, oh my the, the ambulance came through. I spent like a month in the hospital. How was it? It was like, a, it was a it was, it was bad, bad burn. It was really bad because it was really hot boy in the water. And I was little, bro. Yeah. And then I had a pamp, I had a, a, a pamper on, so that shit, you know, a pamper absorbs water, so that shit, psh, nigga, I was fucked. Damn. I was fucked. Damn. Yeah, so that was my first memory here in Baltimore. Cause <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. <laughs> wow. Right? No, but but I always stayed in the same area though. Like uh I grew up around uh the plaza, like mm-hmm. Rice Town Plaza area, like borderline city county. Bro, yeah, yeah, o- right always there. been there my whole life, bro. Mm-hmm. My whole life that's all around. I didn't move out I didn't move I didn't get into the I didn't wasn't around the plaza until like my later like teen years. Yeah. Yeah, shit. I know everybody, bro. They know me over there, bitch. I walk around, everybody know me. I'm like, oh yeah, I know her. No, for real. The people that the people that we know are yeah, around. yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, so it's like shit. You already right. know. It's crazy. That's shit, crazy. shit. Most people know me because I was a skater. Bro. I'm a skateboarder. Yeah, I was just by the edge of my Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a skateboarder. Most people know me because I used to be riding around the whole shit just skateboarding. Be like, there you go. You over there? Do, do a kickflip. Do some shit. That's skateboarding. <laughs> yo, <laughs> plaza. That's hard. Yeah, yo, I, bro. I used to be sponsored, bro. Uh-huh. Like. What made you, do you still skateboard today? Not that much, bro. Like, I'm lazy now. And you said you were sponsored. Like, why you know, what happened? Were you bro, supposed to be a skate? Yeah. You supposed to be Tony Hawk, man. Yeah, you know, I, I gave up, bro. You know why? Because I started, I started hanging out with the wrong people, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And, and those people ain't skate, you feel me? No. I just got straight with the with the smoking and then drinking. And then I started doing hella other drugs with other, you know what I'm saying? I just got fucked, you know what I'm saying? I just went through a whole wrong path. We could get deep to that, but, man, I just know I was fucked. Doing hella drugs, that's why I stopped skateboarding. I saw a picture with you, goddamn two pr- promethazine bottles. Yeah, yeah. See, I was like, oh, this nigga was yeah, tripping. I was on some shit. Nigga, wow. I, I would do Molly. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I used to do coke, all types of shit. Now, bro. now, from that period, in it, from from that period, from then, what have you? What do you think you've learned from that shit? Like, mostly people try to erase it and try not to remember it. Try to, but what have you think you do? You think you learned something from that? What What I learned pretty much was this, bro. That. If I wasn't around certain people, I probably would have never tried that. Mm. Cause I was, easy, I was, I'm easily influenced, bro. Mm. Well, not easily influenced, but I feel like when you're around certain things every day, you eventually try it. Exactly. You Especially know what I'm everybody saying? you look up to doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. You over here hanging out with people every day. They doing coke, da da da. Not saying you, but for me though, no, I feel coke, all that, da da da. Eventually, I was like, let me try that shit. 
And that's the social thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doing it. Definitely. If I don't do it, I'm the only one missing out. So I felt like, damn. Then eventually, it got from that to actually me getting addicted to it, bro. Mm, that's what it's like. Yeah, 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 then I started getting, bro, I was shit. Get fucked up, bro. Do so hella shit. Do hella coke. Do hella molly. That would mix molly and coke together. Now, what was the what was the most... What was the most... I, what was the most tweaked shit you did? That like, makes some coke and molly. No, I'm talking about like what? Like what did you like? You punched the old lady in the face by accident? Nah, nah, nah. The thing is, I know how to control myself, though, bro. Like I'm not over here. Like once I do that, I'm over here. Like I'm turning into Hulk, man. <laughs> I'm just breaking everything. I'm like nah, 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 nah. I, I felt like I know how to control myself, but I feel like I would fiend for certain shit. Like I would want to smoke hella cigarettes. That's when I smoke. I don't smoke cigarettes no more. But that's when I smoke cigarettes. I'm like, I want a cigarette. Da da da. I want to smoke a blunt, da da da, but, or I want to drink, da da da, but other than that, I never did no crazy shit where I'm over here, bro. Nigga, I regret it to this day type shit, like, okay. nah, nah, nah. Thank God, though, because no, I'm, thank God. bro, bro, because some people actually be on some it shit. Doesn't, and plus, if you already in that world, it doesn't take that much to get in that type of thing. Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. It's all control and balance. That's why I'm, like, thankful I got out of that, you know what I'm saying? And I got on that, got out of that by stop hanging out with those sort of people. Okay. That's why I don't even do that no more. The only thing that I probably keep from from over there from my block, I don't even be around my block no more. It's crazy. Damn, they probably be mad block. as shit at me, like, yo, nigga, where you at? I mean, you can people, but people can't I, admit it. I'm just I'm just trying to elevate, bro. I feel like if I stay there, I'm always gonna be there, bro. Of course I swing by, I dab everybody up. Man, you good, you straight, what you mean, bro? Like niggas need something, I got you, bro, but I'm not gonna sit there and do what I used to do when I was 16, 17. Yeah, and nobody, nobody would want to do nothing they were doing. Yeah, I'm 24. Man. I try to go back there no more, bro. There's a reason why I stopped doing that. Okay. What's the point of me going back there? And when when did the music start coming about? Uh, when my son was born. When my son was born, 2018, September 2018. Nigga, I decided to make music seriously. But I was rapping before though, like. Freestyle with my homies, you know, you be in a session getting high oh, yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Your man's put a put a put a put a beat on. And everybody take a cipher, or even in school when a beat on the table. Ooh, boom, you know, Yo, those crucial. are the days. Those, are the days. <laughs> those are the days. But Hell yeah. but that that that's that's where I stem from. At first, my shit was ass, bro. I swear, bro. It took me a long time to get where I'm at. You know, even when I started 2018, seriously, my shit was still was ass because mm -hmm. the quality of music and the way I was saying. Because I would record off my phone. Okay. I would use some fucking regular. Uh, like Airbuds from you know just wow. regular. Never, I'm not. I'm just phone. starting to you hear. That's the second time I heard that. Dude, I never. I never really heard that. Yeah, before. I just started like random because I'm like, bro, I have no other shit. After that, I saved up, got my first mic, but that shit was ass, trash, <laughs> trash ass mic. So How much did it cost? Forty dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. This shit was ass. So I'm like, damn. So I gave up on even recording myself. So uh -huh. at that point, I'm like, all right, I spent a year doing that. Recording myself, having somebody mix and match my shit, but it wasn't even good. So, eventually, I was just like, all right, I'm just going to hit the studio. You know, fuck that. Start paying for the studio. Mm -hmm. You still be some studio, 40 an hour, 15 hours, 16 hours. It's hard to find yeah, that 40, yeah, 50 yeah, hour yeah, nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, yeah. But back then, it was like, what? This is 2020, bro. This is 2020, 2021. Yeah, everybody wasn't rapping like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, still, even bro, it still. I mean, I don't know. People. I don't know why why they changed the prices. Like, I don't know. Like, it was like got I don't price. know either. But for real, for real, I start realizing. I spent like almost two years spending hella bread on that. Mm -hmm. I would pay like what I need a five hour session. That'd be like what two hundred dollars, forty, right? You know, forty each hour. Mm -hmm. Bro, imagine that every time I spend that, I could have been by my setup. I would have been straight. And guess what I did. Bought my fucking setup, save my money up, got my mic, got my lot. I hope y'all listen, listening shit. and taking notes. Yeah, got my, got my, whatever, get a laptop or PC. I would recommend you get a PC so you, you should be straight. Because yeah. cause of storage and shit. But yeah, you, if you want to start laptop, get you a, 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 a fucking interface, a focus right, mm. get you a mic, That's the get, you, get you the cords, you know, the, uh, what's the, them, them cords. The XLR. LXR, uh, yeah, that cords. Uh, what else? Speakers, some monitors. Mm. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much all you fucking need. Yeah, listen, and, and nowadays it's that's that is so accessible to get. Bro. Yeah, bro, so, Amazon boom, just spend like a bro. You can spend a cool band to have everything. You'd be fine. The yeah. mic I got right now, which I'm about to upgrade. The mic I got cost me a hundred dollars. Oh, that's a good mic. Hundred dollars. It's a it's an AT twenty twenty. If y'all want it, go ahead and get that bitch. That's a good mic. Yeah, AT twenty. That's that's that's. I ain't gonna lie. I had that bitch for almost two years now. This bitch it's still work. It still work like it was brand new. No, for real. Them them forty dollars ones. You breathe on it too hard. The left side stop working. It, it's more of the white noise in the background. It's more yeah. like that. 
I hate that shit. Yeah, and shit. then and then like the people who's gonna mix and master it or clean the vocals, you you actually gonna have to decrease the quality of your vocals just to even get that white noise out. Because mm. if it's too bad. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn that yeah, shit down. Yeah, you're gonna have to fuck your mic up. Your shit gonna sound even worse. You're like, damn. I shouldn't even have to win. Talk about talk about your first talk about your first song that you dropped. My first song that I dropped? Seriously? Seriously. That I'm like, alright. The first song I dropped was Tech Freestyle. I freestyled that shit. One take. One that take. Shit, that shit was ass. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I don't know. Some people actually like that song to this day. They be texting me like, yo, that's my favorite song. Yo, we, we be I'm like, yo, that shit is ass. Yo, get up. Uh, get out of here, bro. I'm over here. Nah, bro. I don't even like that shit, bro. That shit was doogie, bro. Because I freestyle that. She could tell I'm freestyle. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, nah. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to put a clip of it in there and embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm like, yo, that'd be crazy. That'd be fucking crazy. Like, here. Boom. <laughs> no, that's crazy. All right. Okay. Talk about some of the key, the key things that you feel like played the key, played a role in like your 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 like you said your first song you dropped was ass like what are some of the key things that helped your music to what you know what I mean shit believe it or not just I would say just expand your music shit just don't stay in just one lane but I'm talking about hearing shit like listen to different type of shit you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like I listen to all type of reggaeton corrido some hell? Mexican shit some, some reggaeton I'm, reggaeton is, is some is some I could get deep into this shit, but just look. Besides me saying this, Mexican shit is all Latino shit. Cause yeah, you know what I'm saying. All corrido, reggaeton, uh, nigga, shit. Get some, get some electronic shit in that bitch or some shit. You know what I'm saying? I know about some electronic. Yeah, or, or even uh, I even bro, I even grew up. I'm a skateboarder, so I would listen to some rock shit too. I oh yeah, lie. you bumping rock. Yeah, I would, I would listen to some Metallica type shit back then. Metal you just, shit. You just bumping that shit, just fall on the ground. Yeah, cause I don't know why it just fit. The atmosphere, it did. Me, just yeah, fall on yeah, the ground, yeah, just just bust your ass. Me going down the hill, going fast as shit, power slide, boom. I'm out this bitch, Damn. damn. Man, I used to be skating downtown, down downtown every day. I used to be around Hamden. You know Hamden? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Roosevelt Park. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I used what to saying. be right there too, skateboarding. That's that, wow. I'm surprised there. I've never seen you. Like I used to hoop around there all the time. Yeah, I, bro. I used to be around the city every day. Bro. I was like 13, 14, going everywhere in the city, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I be broke and shit, but I still be around. Hey man, the t- <laughs> it's, it's a the test of adventure. Like nigga, I, we was, we was. I feel like when we was all thirteen or twelve and eleven, we was all broke as hell. We was going out, yeah, going wherever. Bro, bro, you whatever. Bro, you would take missions. You'd be like, yeah, nigga, for no walk. reason. I'm gonna walk three hours. Fuck it, it's worth it. <laughs> now that's crazy. Walking three no, hours. Well, bro, I skated three hours one time. I what? Sk- I skated. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. This one, me and my man. My man is Brian. Shout out Brian. Uh, me and him was going to go to the skate park, but we had no ride. I thought it was closer because, you know, I put the directions. But I ain't realize I, had, I hadn't changed the driver shit. You feel me? Like, oh I had it on she the walking shit. <laughs> so, it said like 20 minutes from the drive. Wow. Whole time from walking, it was like two hours, three oh hours. My so, we skated from the plaza. We passed Mount Diamond. Yo, we went all the way down Mon to uh, Carroll Park. What? And then we skated back up. Skated back. And we couldn't even make it. We made it to the NBA. He was like, yeah, I'm going to call my dad. Nigga, this over with. I'm like, oh, yeah, bro. Fuck Boy, them legs were fire. Was yeah, it was, no, I had to go to school the next day and everything. I'm like, shit. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I was like, in seventh grade. Yo, yo, skateboarding from the plaza to Mondome by itself is crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now, you saying it just sounds crazy, bro. You the one that did it. No, I know. I'm just saying, like. It's a memory for me, but it's just you. Somebody else saying, "I'm like, bro, I, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I, I, I'm, I regret that." Your legs probably hurting just thinking about it again. <laughs> bro, I ain't wanna walk no more, bro. I swear to God. Bro. That's probably one of the reasons why you quit skating from that three hour ride. No, nah, it wasn't even that, bro. I was still skating out of that, but it was just more of a. I learned every trick, bro. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I learned every single trick that I wanted to learn: tray flip, heel flip, kick flip, one eighty, backside, front side. No uh, Back, uh, back side, big spin, front side, big spin, nolly. Bro, every night no- I did a nolly tray flip. I feel like when I did a nolly tray flip, yeah, it was over. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's, yeah. it's documented. I was yeah, going to say, I was going to press your gates. Yeah, yeah, pull yeah, that shit yeah, yeah, I recorded that. Okay. I, I, I recorded most of my thing, but I have a lot of lost foot footage that I'm like, damn, I could say it, but it's like, I don't have that. But it's yeah, like what it is. But, but. I, I could, I could probably do it, though. I take you off the screen. Just give me a couple tries. I still probably do it, bro. I can still do a nolly kick flip. Wow. Like it's nothing. Yo, once you, once you, I know one thing about skaters, like. You can you, never forget it, though. You can never Bro, forget I can do a, a Nolly 360. 
Wow. Like I just go in and do a whole 360. Still to this day, I, every wow. time I get on that board, I do that. Motherfuckers be like, "Yo, fuck you," because I Man, play that's, skate. That's why you take a picture with a skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> I play skate. You know, skate the game. Skate. Yeah, yeah. It's like horse. I like skate. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like you know, I do a trick and then you have to do the same trick, yeah, but if you miss it, you get a letter, which yeah. is S. Bro, I would do just nollie the whole time. To this day, I do nollie the whole time, and everybody I skate with, they don't do nollie. So do I'm just winning, just like automatically. They hate me. People hate me, bro, because I do too much. Oh, that is. I'm gonna call my cousin back. No, you okay. straight. You straight. Um, I was, let's talk about more. Let's talk about more of how you rap. How you how you rap and do you rap in English and Spanish at the same time. Shit. That came about just, man, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I tried to rap in Spanish and English in 2016 just to fuck around with it, like, before I started taking it serious, but it ain't come out how I wanted to, so, mm -hmm. when I started rapping seriously 2018, when my son was born, I wasn't even rapping in Spanish, bro. I will probably say, like, one word, two words in Spanish, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, I'm smoking on this mota, or, Toy rola like, I'm rolando, like, you know, which means I'm... I'm rolling weed or some shit, or mm -hmm. toy fumando. I'm smoking. I would just say some little shit, subtle shit. But now you be saying like, yeah. Oh, now, 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 I just start practicing, which helped me. What really helped me more doing that is actually getting in tune into the culture of that. You know what I'm saying? Cause, bro, it's deep, bro. Cause I met so much people from different countries that, bro, every single sound is different. So I'm just over here getting so much information. So I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just getting influenced, which has helped me to grow as me as an artist. I'm not saying I'm copying them or nothing, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying like, you gotta give them right, right, So so like, so th this 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 is how I'm supposed to do certain things. Well, Spanish wise, you feel me? And then now I already got the Spanish uh, rapping in English down. That shit easy, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I talk English. This, yeah, bro, this is easy, like bro. But Spanish, that's was a whole different ball game. So I ended up just saying, fuck, I'm gonna mix both of them, and then, and then shit it worked out. Until this day, a lot of people, shit, they be like, bro, you killing it. That's, that's what made it stand out to me. Yeah, like not that much people doing that in uh in Baltimore. Like it's either you rapping just English or you rapping just Spanish mm. on that side at least. You know, between them, like this, just the, the different cultures, cultures the English yeah. culture and just the Spanish culture. That's how mm. I think about it. Cause mm -hmm. the in the Spanish culture, most people they hate on the people who who rap Spanish and English. You feel me? Same thing with the English people, bro. There'd be some people that from here and they'd be like, bro, I don't understand that, bro. Mm -hmm. I want to hear. I want to speak English. <laughs> they be telling me that. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I was fucking shit up in Mexican class, in, 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 in Spanish, Spanish class. class. So I'm, I'm, I pick up on the key words. Yeah, yeah. I pick up on the key words. Yeah, and then not, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I would feel the same way. Some motherfucker come over here rapping in French. I don't know what the fuck you say. No, French is crazy. Or some Chinese or some Russian. Uh, it's like Morozhnev or Privia. I'm like, nah, what you saying? What is that? <laughs> I don't know what you saying. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? But. I get it. I, I always look at my the way I look at look at things, uh I look at shit in both shoes, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But it's not it doesn't hurt to open your mind and be like, oh let me hear this shit out. It doesn't hurt to ask, what does this mean? What you say right here, bro? You know what I'm saying? But most people don't even wanna hear no new shit, bro. Plus it's like you just you, honestly, if it's really I just type like I ain't gonna lie, I was using Google Translate. Yeah. It's not that hard. It's yeah, it's not it's not, it's not. It's not. It's just people are lazy. Like people yeah. are lazy. They they, they just cause you just cause just cause you speak just cause you speak Spanish, like they don't not you don't have to be like, yo, what this yeah, say? Yeah. What this mean? What this yeah. mean? No, I honestly I just started just cause I feel like that's something that not the way I do it, cause bro, I ain't gonna lie. I can do both perfect Spanish and the English, bro. Why can't I mix it? I don't have an accent in Spanish. I don't have an accent in English. It's like, bro, I'm fitting this shit like if I'm really talking one whole language. You know, it really is. And it flows in. Oh, you would think it wouldn't flow yeah, in like but, that. but, you know, because I'm speak, you speaking different languages, different Literally. like synonyms, different sounds, different shit, because Spanish and, and English is different. But I don't know, bro. I just got you so used to it now. I'm just like, fuck that shit. I, I'm happy now, bro, because... It took me a while to get to this point. I ain't gonna lie. Took Plus, you're putting on for your culture. Yeah, yeah. It took, yo, it took me a long time to get to this point, and I'm putting on for todo lo Latino, Guatemala, Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, Panama, Nicaragua, Argentina, Chile, España. I can keep going, but every single country, yo, you That's know, it. I can keep going, but it's hella country. You're putting on here. for your yeah, city. Yeah, yeah. Every every city, and I'm from Baltimore. 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 First and foremost. Yeah. You said that first. Yeah, first and <laughs> foremost from Baltimore. Yeah, I should have said that. But yeah, from Baltimore. Ain't nobody in Baltimore doing it like how I'm doing it. You might be rapping Spanish, but you ain't rapping Spanish. That ain't. Mm. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? No, it definitely stood out to me. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. I appreciate you, yo. For I appreciate real. you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's, t- it's the New Year's. I mean, not it's not still not the New Year's, but it's still it's, it's the year. It's fresh. It's new a new year. year. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it's still fresh as the New Year. What's your, what's, what's, what, what can we expect from you? Shit, just expect a lot of collabs with a lot of big people internationally. Like a lot of people from Baltimore wouldn't probably know, them, but you know, it's it's a stre- strategic play that I'm doing right now that. I'm going to come back in Baltimore and I'm already have that motion. And that's it. You feel me? Like, people don't know me in Baltimore like that. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. I'm, you, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm making these moves outside of here. So now when I have the motion, uh-huh. I just bring it here. Boom. It's over with. Motherfuckers going to look at Baltimore. Like, oh, all right. All right. People, people in Baltimore, like, you have people are listening to you in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, different shit. Argentina, Chile, Panama, Paraguay, Bolivia. Salvador, Guatemala, Mexico, Spain. Bro, I met so much people from different countries. I don't even, like, I had to get used to how they talk. Because some people don't, I don't understand they slang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Span- bro, it's like English, bro. If you go to, man, compare a Baltimore nigga to a New York nigga. It's a whole different ball game right there. Or compare a Baltimore nigga to a nigga from Cali. Nigga from Cali going to be, man, you out of line, cuz. Stop playing, like, no, like for real. and it's gonna you sound different. Gonna, it's gonna use different. And then over here, man, you butt like over here, man, you getting down me. Fuck, you talking about like you know what I'm saying? Like you getting mm-hmm. like over there, like it's all that slang. It's like you gotta get used to how people talk. But other than that, bro, I'm just like damn. But at the same time, you gotta think about it. Motherfuckers listen to me; they don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Like my slang, my terminology. Yeah, because the my the terminology I use is usually from El Salvador mm-hmm. or Gua, or Guatemala. You feel me? It's, it's, it's like different slang compared to Mexico. Because Mexico, they be like, orale way, compare yeah, way. No, no, Mexico is like that in the South. They'll honestly listen to your music. It doesn't, it doesn't even yeah, sound yeah, yeah. like Mexico. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. But like, I'm just saying like the accents. Yeah. Mexico accent like, hey, wait, da, da, da. Salvadoran accent like, que bell, man. And Guatemala be like, hey, pato, pato. I'm telling you, I can do. And, and Argentina is way, way different too. They be like, hey, bolo, hey, bolo. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. But I tapped in with all that market because the people that listen to me, bro. Yeah, now, dude, now, you're not expanding your shit. yeah, now it's just like you're not, not, it's not no, it's not just not you're not just thinking about no bottle of niggas when you. Yeah, something. yeah. I mean, bro, I love my city and all, but I don't expect nobody to support me right now. You feel me? Because like it's something that they don't understand at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually, I ain't gonna lie. There's so many amigos coming up in this city. Mm-hmm. It's migos everywhere now, bro. What is that? Uh, hella Spanish people, hella Hispanic people. Migos. How you say it? Migos? Migo. I call them migos. Oh, like the migos. Yeah. Oh. But not 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 the migos. Not, but that's how. But like, like, that's like what you're saying. amigos. Like, yeah, yeah. Have, 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 you, have, you, have you ever met a, like a Spanish person or a Mexican person? Just, just like, hey, migo. Yeah. What's up, yeah. migo? So you saying? Migo. I, I call them migos as just yes, everybody. Yeah, I guess. I, I'm a I'm a migo, even though I'm like a gentrified migo from here. But <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, like, I get what you're saying. But, because the Migos, they don't fuck with me like that. Because they think I'm privileged. Because I'm born here. I had easy help. I ain't really had to do nothing. Well, I still had to struggle in this bit. But that's, that's yeah, not, they, they, that's they, beside they, the story. They, they we don't understand we that all shit. go through struggles in our own way. That's that's what people got to understand, bro. Yeah. You might think that somebody have it easy, but they probably didn't, bro. Like, shit ain't, shit ain't what it seems, bro. Motherfucker be posting they happy shit on Instagram. The whole time they going through some shit. Some bullshit. Hell yeah, everybody going through something. We all go through some mental shit, bro. That's why I'm I'm gonna be a big advocate with that, bro. Cause I, you know what I'm saying. I used to think that shit. I'm like, yo, fuck all that shit, man. Yeah, this shit bro. ain't worth that, that, that. But Give bro, me. you you, man, what open my eyes with my son? But you mm-hmm. can't really, you can't really wait for a kid to make you open that. You gotta realize your purpose now, bro. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? You gotta realize right now what you gotta do and make shit motion. Cause there's people that care about you. Parent, your mom, dad, you know what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody that care about you, like your girl, you the Blase Network cares about they, you. Yeah, <laughs> anybody, you feel me? But you just gotta just keep going, bro. Shit might be rough now, but that shit gonna be alright, bro. But that, that's that's something that that's crazy how we all sensitize about that as a man, you feel me? Because that's really how a man is. Like most men, we grew up like, nah, don't be a bitch, don't cry, don't do this, bro, yeah. do that. But, bro, it's okay to cry. Man. It's okay to be like, all right, I'm a, of course, you ain't going to be crying in front of everybody yeah, no, like no. that. <laughs> but, but, but just sit back by yourself, let that shit out, you feel me? And just like, all right, come back, shake that shit off. That's some real back, shit. That's some real shit to say. Just, just shake it off, bro, because cause most people don't know that. But most people just think, well, hold, it in, hold it in, hold it in, hold it in. Not even know that. Most people can't admit that. They shit. can't admit that. And they, they, they are used to holding shit in, just 
bottling bottling inside, bro. Cause bro, bottling everything in is fucked up, bro. It's gonna get to that breaking point where you like, oh yeah, you you spazzing out, bro. You might do some crazy crash, crash out. out, crash <laughs> out. Shit, man. Give give what give 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 something. What you, what, what do you want to tell? A few things that you want people to take from this interview. Yeah, I would say just keep pushing. Don't don't give up. No matter if it seems unrealistic, it might seem delusional, but if you keep pushing it, man, everything anything is possible, bro. Just don't first don't don't forget where you come from. Mm-hmm. Second, just keep pushing, bro. Just don't get too comfortable. Like how uh uh, uh, underrated little Chris said. He said, "He said, don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. For real. You get too comfortable, man. That's what it's. That's what it is, bro. Like, if say you get a buzzing song, you the hottest rapper in Baltimore. You get comfortable then. What? What you gonna do for your next song? Exactly. What you, you gonna do? do? do, that, do that. You just for that one song, you gotta do that shit a hundred times. You gotta do it better than they, every song you do. Blah blah blah. Make it way better. Like." Don't 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 uh, think don't think that that shit unrealistic. Just just keep pushing. Just don't give up. Be there for the people that care about you. Don't forget that, and just be grateful that you live in every day. Cause people ain't made it this year. You feel oh, me? Yeah. A lot of people ain't make it, bro. And it's sad to say, but shit, you just gotta enjoy it now when you're here. Cause shit, fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Shit, it it's, is. It's fucked now. Now. The last, one of the last few questions, you know, usually you have, you have a big catalog. You dropped, you dropped a lot of music. So usually I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just be like, go listen to your latest shit. If you had to give somebody two to three songs for listen to, for this after. Does it even a song or like, it could be a tape. It could be a tape. I would say the tape I would say listen to that I would say I'm proud of more is Murderland. I just dropped that. I did a lot of collabs with people from, from different countries. You know, I even did my first two collabs with two females from different countries. Mm, that's hard. One from Chile and one from Argentina. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, tap, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's the first songs on that tape. I heard the record, but I didn't hear. I knew, I knew, the, I knew but I didn't know that they were from. The, this, Chile. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, the the song Buena Vibra and Cali Uchis, those are the songs where the females on it. But that's my that's the one I would say. And Los Patrones with Dolly Flaco. That's that's one of the. Uh, Currently, the biggest artist, not the biggest artist, but biggest underground artist that's putting on for Argentina right now, mm-hmm. currently. And I tapped in with him, and that's hard. Psh, ever since I tapped in with him, a lot of people been tapping in with me. And yes, shit. yeah, I've been tapping. With yeah, you. yeah, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, just tapping. I'm about to drop another tape, 007, coming soon. I'm about to have this, uh, another big artist named Kiss Kid Samu. Kisamo. He, he I'm by, happy you saying yeah, this because I'll be butchering yeah, yeah, the names. Yeah, Kisamo. <laughs> he he by, yeah he Merton shit. It's crazy because the people who, who speak Spanish, it's going to be like, oh, what the fuck? They ain't understand shit the whole time. But it's all good. They be all right, man. It's all they good. be all right. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. As long as they see the shit happening, we all here. You feel me? We dragging, we shagging. You feel me? God bless every day. Enjoy it. Man, that's it, man. Oh, God. I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I enjoy my time right here. I enjoy me? my time. Yeah, we chill. I learned we a lot vibe. about the culture and you. You feel me? We vibe. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We definitely gonna definitely tap in even oh, more. Yeah. We gonna double be back. We gonna double back, you feel me? Double back a couple months, see how shit is, you feel me? See where, where we at mentally, see mm-hmm. if we if we at where we wanna be, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know you growing your stuff and shit. Mm-hmm. Shit, I, I, wanna, I wanna switch this shit up to you real quick. So I know I asked you earlier how long you been doing this, but repeat it again, how long you been doing this, bro? Like, oh yeah, I've been doing this from 2019. Yeah, I be, it basically came up as a thing, like I used to stream like on games and right, shit. Right. And like I and I would like watch myself back for like two hours, like basically talk to just, myself. Just talk, just just tapping in and be like, all right, let me see how it went. Like, what game was you playing? Shit, I was I'm I'm on, I'm all like ghetto game, you know, two K man. Two K man. Oh, you just on the game and shit, yeah, like man. like the, the 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 sport games type yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You on full Call of Duty? You know oh yeah, I be on Call of Duty. Call I play Call of Duty, uh, Assassin's Creed. Uh, I just got on Far Cry recently. Yeah, yeah but yeah. that's basically how I started. I was just streaming yeah. and I was like, I might as well just start a podcast. That's basically yeah. it. Man, that's dope, bro. Plus, like nobody is really documenting the culture. No, bro. yeah, like, 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 I, like, I do not take um, DTLR radio seriously. Like, oh yeah, I don't. They don't get shit. Like, that Who even listen to that? Bro? Nobody. That journalism is whack, bro. Like, bro, I feel like I feel like people think just tap it in with a lot of mainstream shit and forget how like you always gotta tap in with what's coming up. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta tap in. People just worry about oh who the big, I'm gonna tap it with just who bigger right now. It's cool, you feel me? But 
I always remember, like, yo, what's coming up? You feel me? Because you never know. You might find somebody you like, you oh, never yeah. Know. That motherfucker got to the, yeah, I mean, nigga got to, so Bad Bunny Drake vibes. <laughs> nigga got to the top type of shit. You feel me? That's how I think about it. If, yeah, I, if I was in that position. No, for real. So, so, so far you've been doing this that long. Mm. What's, what's the, what's the con, what's the pros and cons of it, bro? Shit, uh, before I talk about the cons, let's talk about the... No, uh, yeah, the, just the, pros. Just just, just go how you want. Just tell me the good and bad of it. No, let's, I'm going to talk about the bad shit first. Yeah, yeah, you got the shit, no shit not working. Camera's not working. You know, fucking cord gets shortage. Goddamn battery run out. Yeah. Goddamn corrupt files. You know, that reminds you of the, of the, the shit I be going through with my music shit. Cause like yeah, most, the, most musicians... The, the laptop. I need more space. Uh, fucking, it's crashing. Uh, and it's like it's the cord. The, I need a new fucking. Uh, what's that shit? Yeah, yeah, that cord. That shit staticky. Uh, and it's like it's only when you really about to cook. Like yo, it's really important. That happened to me like the it. other day. I was I was literally like, all right, boom, I just wrote a cool, bro. This is the best verse. Of, like my mom, like right now, this month, I just killed it right now. I was recording. Bop bop bop. I didn't have no space on my computer. I had to delete hella shit. And then all the shit I recorded, I couldn't even save it. Couldn't save it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> then I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I had to delete everything, bro. And then Real delete creators. Shit. Real creators know, bro. If, you don't, if you're a creator and you don't know that struggle, like, you're not, I don't take you serious. Yeah, yeah. You got you to gotta know. It's, it's, a, it's a lot to come with. It ain't just it's not the good. first take. You're going to be fine. It t- bro, I could... It takes me hours to make one song sometimes. Oh, hell yeah. Because I, pun- I punch in. Mm-hmm. I punch in. I used to not punch in, mm-hmm. but I feel like punching in is more better because you can actually say your words clearer so and people can, like, can understand it. Yeah, and, and you won't sound like you... Because I, I ain't gonna lie, when I listen to people, and I, I hear that a lot. You people hear just... Like, and hey, nigga, you're wheezing. I'm like, yo, <laughs> come on, bro. I don't want to hear that. The whole, at least, like, take that off, you feel me? Like, that breathing in. Because I get it. You rapping the whole thing, you have to breathe. It's not like you're a robot, you're just going to breathe like that, but... You know, I, I get what you mean, though. It's like, you're going to do so much shit. You might lose that, though. You might lose that. But, <laughs> but you're going to come back and, and, and do it again, no matter how long it takes. That's uh-huh. that, that's that's really, like, what I'm trying to say. Like, you're going to come back no matter how long it takes. No, for real. But, the, but the, that, those are the bad things. The good things, I get to meet some cool people. I feel like I'm documenting important shit. Oh, like, yeah. And, and that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm doing, like, a video diary, like, you know. It's, it's it's documentation. That's about it. No, you you document you document document a lot of stuff, bro. Like what I've seen so far right now, and then you just get into that motion right now, so I could just know. Shit, I just, shit. What you got this year, still? You know, I'm waiting. What you got this year, so you oh, know man. what I'm saying? It's gonna be great. You know, we already got this shit. We're gonna rock it off already in the beginning of the year. So starting off season two, you yeah, one of the first guests. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely come back. You feel me? I'm gonna start tapping in way more here. Bro. We'll be here for you. We'll, we'll, yeah. we, we plan on having more live shows and and more of a party vibe type of. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll, I'll, you'll like be streaming tapping. shit. Like streaming. yeah, I wanna. I'll, yeah, basically like I'll put, like yeah, basically yeah, live live and like yeah, it'd yeah. be like just like a house party type thing. Just vibe and cooler, and it's just like being live streamed. Yeah. When you gonna get Chapo in here, yo? Who Chapo? I don't know. I don't know. I have yet. He don't. He don't respond at the end. <laughs> I'm trying to see that interview, but he don't got no interview. I think. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I've been trying to tap in with him. He he, he don't reply to DMs. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna send him this clip specifically. And yeah. I'm gonna tag him. Like, yo, answer your DM. No, he my man. He he's not my man's, but my homeboy Pepe. Mm-hmm. He's his man's. Okay. They like that. He always in this video. And my other homeboy Brian. He always with him too. For real? Yeah. Oh, but you can maybe count me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but that, that's they homie. You know what I mean? I never met him personally. I can't really say that. You feel mm-hmm. me? But he cool with people I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Pepe, my other homeboy Brian, free him. I think he locked up. Free him. But shit. yeah, that shit, that shit crazy, bro. Shout out. Uh, I'm gonna shout out C3 Cartel. Shout out C3 Hero. C3 Da Vinci. And my man's from uh, Seattle. Uh, Zeta. Zeta Traps. That's my man's. He shout out to them. Shout out to my girl. She's supposed to be here. I'm mad at you, shorty. It's all good. <laughs> I'm mad at you, say. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> on that note, you have been tuned in to the number one podcast, $20 million dollar podcast. We'll see you next week to tune in and goodbye. <laughs>